Hello, I'm Patty Abel with Abel Wellness and today we're going to go over a little bit of uh, back release. Um, beforehand I was sitting lying on some heated um, pads that we have. You could use a heating pad underneath but just to kind of warm up the tissue before you start. Uh, not necessary but it just makes um, makes the body a little bit more happier and the muscles and the connective tissue a little bit more malleable. Um, I also, before I lay down, put just a little bit of peppermint oil on my back um, just because I love the way it feels and it just makes my, my muscles and connective tissue happy and you know, my lungs are back there too, so uh, it's just a great way to get that started. So let's go on over to the wall and I'll show you where you're going to go next. So I like using a couple of different props when working on my back. Um, the other important thing with us working on our back is, is it helps with our breathing. So, you know, our diaphragm connects in back here. So if we're really tight, it's going to make it very hard for our diaphragm to move up and down. So that's important for just day to day. It's also very important for anyone who does uh, sports because that's what's going to help you with your endurance. And, you know, when you start noticing your shoulders you're riding up when you're running or moving, then that's a great sign that your muscles are a little too tight back there. So I like to start first with the, the spiky massage ball. And I just bring it right in between my shoulder blade and my spine. And I'm just going to lean up against the wall so that the weight sinks into it. And then I'm just going to roll up and down so also make sure you pay attention to your, you know, your posture here. So we want a nice crease in the hips as we lower. We don't want to be scooting out. Um, so just a nice up and down. The ball does have a tendency to migrate, so you might have to bounce it down every now and then. But I really like kind of turning a little bit to the side so I can get the spikies to go right in underneath the shoulder blade to really work on loosening up that tissue around the shoulder blade. And I just like to work all around that area. Of course, I'm only gonna do one side right now for today. Um, you'll, of course, go over and do the other side after you're done. And then another thing that I like to use in this area is, we kinda call it here a peanut ball or um, I don't know, there's been numerous names our clients have given it, but basically it's just two tennis balls that we've um, mummied up. And then this guy, you can place him to where the spine goes right in between. And same, you just kind of walk your feet out a little bit and then you get that squat up and down. So you wanna make sure your shoulders stay relaxed when you're doing this. So along with getting all this lovely release work in the back, um, we're also getting a little work in the legs. And again, don't forget to breathe as you do this. So taking nice deep breaths in and out as you move, because that's what helps talk to the tissue. So that's it for today. Just a little bit of upper back release. Make sure you go over and do the other side um, after we're done and roll that shoulder blade and we'll hit some other fun spots another day. Uh, blessings um, and again this is Patty Abel with Abel Wellness. Um, see you!